Today we're going to review the stoplight paragraph. There are at least four parts to the stoplight paragraph and the first one is green. Um, our first sentence is going to be our topic sentence. So I'm going to um, think about what am I mostly writing about. Last Sunday I had the most incredible tuna melt ever. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this green. This topic sentence tells me that this entire paragraph is going to be about tuna melts. The next part of the stoplight paragraph is yellow. Um, yellow are our examples or details. Remember, the examples are about your topic sentence. So our next sentence is, it was called the Undersea Delight and it came from Shorty Slim's Sub Emporium. So I'm going to highlight our next sentence, yellow. The yellow sentence is an example of the tuna melt, or it gives us more details about this most incredible tuna melt ever. The third part of our stoplight paragraph is the red. The red um, is going to be to stop and explain um, everything from our examples. So the next sentence is, the undersea delight was warm and toasty like any other tuna melt. So I'm going to highlight that next sentence red. Whenever you have a yellow, you must have a red to explain that example. So then our next sentence, what made it so good were the chopped jalapeno peppers they put on top. That is also an explanation of why this was the most incredible tuna melt. Sometimes, here's where you would cite your um, citations or your evidence that you got from research. Our next sentence, those made it truly unique and blazing hot. Again, it's still more red evidence or explanation. And then finally, we go back to the green because for every um, paragraph that we write or every essay that we write, we always want to um, revisit the topic. So in my paragraph, I have, I can't wait to go back and devour another amazing undersea delight. So I'm going to finish that off with highlighting it green. If you include these four parts um, in your paragraphs and your essays as we be begin to elaborate more on these paragraphs, um, you will have a well-written piece of writing. Remember to include your topic, your examples or your evidence, um, then to explain that it, those examples and evidence, and then finally to revisit your topic.